inspired by Despicable Me because Despicable Me 3 is coming out on June 15 in Australia and all around the world in June. Down, turn around, show me what you got. You a pow pow juggernaut. Take it up a notch. Oh my God, wow. Take a mile. Let me take a shot. I'm a sit back. <laughs> I am so excited for Despicable Me 3. I loved the first two so much, and I just know that Despicable Me 3 is gonna be so funny. I've been watching the trailers over and over again, and I just can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see the minions again, and I know that Agnes' unicorn is in it, so I'm really excited because we all know how much I love unicorns. Now, I am so excited because I've teamed up with Universal Pictures and Channel 7 Sunrise to bring you these Despicable Me themed DIYs. I love how everything turned out. Okay, I also have a super exciting competition to announce to all my Australian viewers and I'm going to be talking about that more at the end of the video but to give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek, Channel 7 Sunrise and Universal Pictures are teaming up to give away $20,000 to Australia's most despicable creator. Oh my gosh, how exciting is that? And I'm going to be talking about it more at the end of the video and yeah, I think it's time that we start making some really awesome and really fun despicable me three themed DIYs. So starting off with this really awesome Minion Banana Slime and you guys know how much I love slime so of course I had to make a Minion themed slime. The first thing you are going to need are some jars and I just used some old jars that had applesauce in them so just use whatever jars you can find and first I started off by spray painting the lids black and then I let those dry. <laughs> So now we're going to be decorating the jars so that when we put the yellow slime inside the jar it looks like a minion. So the first thing we're going to be making are the goggles for the minions. So just taking some grey felt, just draw and cut out circles and this is going to be part of our goggles. And then for the minions eyes I decided to use googly eyes but you could make your own eyes using felt or foam but I just thought the googly eyes looked funny. So just glue the googly eyes on the piece of felt and it should be starting to look like the goggles. And then for the black strap on the goggles I use a thin strip of black foam and then just glue on the eyes and there you have your minions goggles, they're so cute. I also made some goggles just with one eye because there's that minion that has one eye so that was super cute. Now just taking some blue ribbon, just stick this around the bottom of the jar and this is going to look like the Minions little blue overalls. And then just go ahead and stick on the Minions goggles and then you should see your Minion jar start to take shape and it's already looking so cute. And then the minions would not be complete without a smiley face so I just cut out and glued on a little smiley face and then you have your really cute minion jars but they are of course not complete, we need the yellow slime as well. So to make the slime the first thing you are going to need is one cup of PVA glue and I am using Elmer's and just add this to a bowl. Then taking some yellow food colouring to give it that bright minion colour, just add this to the glue and mix it in. Now to give it that awesome banana scent, I just took this banana cream food flavouring and added this to the glue and it smelled so amazing. And then just take one teaspoon of baking soda and add this to the glue mixture as well and mix it in. And then taking some contact solution and this is what is going to make our slime slime. Just add a little bit at a time and mix it together and you should see your slime start to form. So just keep slowly adding contact solution until you get the perfect slime consistency and then you can just go ahead and take it out of the bowl and start working with your hands and you'll see your slime start to come together. So then just go ahead and take your minion jar and place some of the yellow slime inside the jar and this looks so awesome. This would seriously be like the cutest gift to give to someone. It's such a sweet way to give someone slime as a gift. These are so adorable. I love how they look and they're so much fun and oh my gosh, the banana smells so amazing.
So now for one of the cutest DIYs I have ever made, we are going to be making a notebook inspired by Agnes's unicorn. So the first thing you're going to need is a notebook or exercise book and then go ahead and grab a textile or a pen and just trace a curved line at the top of the book and at the bottom of the book. So then just grab a pair of scissors and begin cutting out the book just like you can see me doing here and just do a few pages at a time otherwise it'll be too hard to cut but basically we're just reshaping this book to look a bit more interesting than a rectangle. So now your book should be looking something like this and now it's time to decorate it. So just take a piece of a white foam and trace the shape of the book onto the foam. And then just go ahead and cut this out and you're going to want two pieces of foam this shape so go ahead and trace and cut out another piece as well. So then just grab your book and begin gluing the foam onto the front of the book and then repeat this for the back of the book as well with the other piece of foam. Take another piece of foam and draw a unicorn horn shape onto the foam and then cut this out as well because our unicorn will not be complete without a unicorn horn. And now it's time to make the unicorn horn look more magical. So I just took some gold paint and began painting the foam. And then just go ahead and take some Mod Podge or glue and paint a thin layer of this onto the unicorn horn. And now it's time for glitter, my favorite thing in the world, because what unicorn is complete without glitter? So I took some gold glitter and sprinkled this onto the Mod Podge until it was all sparkly. And then I just sealed the glitter in with another coat of Mod Podge. So now our unicorn needs some cute little ears. So just taking more white foam, just trace a ear shape onto the foam. And then we need two ears. So just go ahead and fold the foam in half and then cut out the ear. And then you should get two pieces whilst only cutting out one. It's like a time saver. So then just go ahead and trace a smaller ear shape onto some pink foam. And this is gonna be the inside of the ear. And then again, fold it in half and cut it out. And then just go ahead and glue the pink piece onto the white piece and then you should have some really adorable little unicorn ears. Now our unicorn needs some really big eyes so I just took a styrofoam ball and very carefully cut this in half and then be super careful when using a knife. And then to complete the eyes I just stuck some brown and black foam and now they look super cute. So now it is time to put everything together and to make our unicorn book. So first taking this pink fluffy material like stuff, I found this in the ribbon section of my craft store and I thought it would be perfect for unicorn hair. So I just stuck this along the top of the book with some hot glue and then taking our super glittery and magical unicorn horn, just glue this in the center of the book. Now just go ahead and glue on the unicorn's ears. And then, of course, the unicorn's eyes. I love these eyes, they just look so funny. And now for the unicorn's nose, first just take some pink ribbon or pink cord and stick this along the book. And then I just went ahead and cut out some little nostrils on some black foam for our unicorn and then just stick these to the bottom of the book and then your unicorn notebook is finished. It's so cute. It's so fun. It totally reminds me of Agnes's unicorn and I just love it so much. I just feel so happy whenever I look at it. Now 
now for this really bright and fun minion pillow and I'm so happy with this turned out and it's just added such a pop of colour to my room. The first thing you are going to need is a yellow pillow or cushion cover and I went with a square. So starting off by making the minions goggles, the first thing you will need is some grey felt and then you'll need something to trace circles around. I find the easiest thing to use is cookie cutters. So first just trace two big grey circles and you want to make like an eight shape so the two circles are joined. So then just take a slightly smaller circle and trace around this on the inside of the larger circles that we just drew and then you should have something that kind of looks like a pair of goggles and then just take a pair of scissors and cut out the goggles. take some white foam and trace two more circles and this is going to be the minion's eyes. And then just go ahead and cut these out as well. So now taking the pair of goggles that we made earlier, just take some glue and place this around the goggles like I'm doing here and then take the circles that we just cut out and stick these on top of the glue and then turn your goggles over and then take some small brown circles of foam and stick these in the middle of the white foam and then two smaller black circles and stick these in the middle of the brown circles and now you have a pair of minion eyes. So now this helpful little minion is going to tell us what else we need to make this pillow. So you of course need the minion goggles and then this is just a large rectangle of blue felt, two thin rectangles of blue felt, two wide rectangles and a smiley face and I use black felt for these. Then just go ahead and grab your yellow cushion cover and first starting off with the large blue rectangle, just place some glue on the back of it and then glue this to the center of the bottom of the cushion and this is going to be part of the minion's clothes. And then taking the two skinny rectangles, just glue one on each side like I'm doing here. Then taking the black felt rectangles, stick one on each side and this is going to be part of the goggles. And then taking the minion's eyes, just stick these in the center of the two black rectangles. And then of course glue on the minion's happy little smiley face. And then to finish off the minion's clothes, I just took two large buttons and stuck one on each side of the overalls. I love how quick and easy this pillow was to make. He looks so cute. I'm so happy with how it turned out and I just, I'm so obsessed with it. It's just made my room so much brighter. So now I'm going to be making a bubblegum slime and I love this slime so much and the reason I'm making bubblegum slime is because there is a new character in Despicable Me 3 called Balthasar Brat and he uses bubblegum as one of his weapons. So I of course had to make a slime inspired by this. <laughs> Some kind of monster. Wait, that's not a monster. That's a man wearing shoulder pads. So the first thing you're going to need to make this slime is a bowl and then taking a cup of PVA glue, just add this to the bowl. Aye, 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 aye. Then just go ahead and take some shaving foam and add one cup of this to the glue mixture and start mixing it together. So now to give our slime that awesome pink bubblegum colour, just take some pink food colouring and add this to the glue mixture and mix it all together. Now to make our slime smell so amazing, just take some bubblegum flavouring and, and oh my gosh, this smells so good. I love the smell of bubblegum so much. And then just add one teaspoon of baking soda and mix this in. And then taking contact solution, add a little bit at a time and then mix it together and you will see your slime start to form. So just keep adding contact solution until you're happy with how it's looking. And then just take a small amount of model magic and this is like a really soft clay and it just gives our slime a really awesome texture. So just begin folding this into the slime until it's all mixed together. Oh, and now 
now you should have this really awesome slime. It's so much fun to play with. I love the texture and the color of it so much. And oh my gosh, it smells amazing. And yeah, I am so excited about this slime. Thank you to Balthasar Brat for inspiring this slime. And oh, it just looks so awesome. I'm so obsessed with it. Oh my gosh, how fun were all those DIYs? I love this minion pillow so much. He's so cute and the slimes. Oh my gosh, we all know how much I love slime. So of course I had so much fun making those. All right, so now for the really fun competition for all my Australian viewers. Channel 7 Sunrise have partnered up with Universal Pictures to give away $20,000 to Australia's most despicable creator. Now to enter is super simple. All you have to do is upload your own Despicable Me inspired creation to either Instagram or Twitter with the hashtag my despicable creation or you can also upload it to the website and I will leave a link to that website in the description box so this awesome competition will open Monday the 22nd of May and it'll be closing on Tuesday the 13th of June so guys get creating I hope today's video gave you some ideas to get started I can't wait for despicable me 3 to come out I'm so excited I know it's just gonna be hilarious and yeah if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't yet don't forget to click that subscribe button for more videos. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!